Now that you have your kit assembled, you need to attach it to your shade. String the shade all the way down. In this case, I use uh, ring locks, but you can use um, ladder tape or whatever other method you prefer. And make sure that you secure the end of the cords. This is really critical because once you pull the keys and release the springs, the system will start working and start winding up the cords. And with the tension being so strong in the beginning, it may pull all the entire cord into the truck. So make sure you don't lose that. Another thing could happen is you pull the, the keys and if you don't have any resistance holding the bottom of the shade, this could lead to even breaking your spring. So please be careful about that. Now we have the shade on the stand and the keys are still into the springs. Don't take them out yet. So here you wanna make sure that you have just enough cords to cover the length of your shade. You can adjust the level at the bottom, make sure that it's aligned and then move on to take the springs out. Um, there is already some tension going on, so that might be hard. I use a screwdriver to pull them straight out. Don't bend them, because you may break them. Pull them out, straight out. And what might help is if you, fall, if you hold the cord. Sorry, like that. So I'm taking the first one out. That came out easily. Now keep in mind that if you have multiple springs, once you remove the pin for one, the, already the truck starts to wind up. So there might be extra tension here. Once again, hold the cord, pull it down low, and take out the other key. And now you're ready to operate your shape. Just like that. You can grab the shade wherever you want and you can leave it to whatever you want. Because this is a free floating system, remember, you can stop at any given point. There is nothing that you are trying to lock into.